this video, we're going to be talking about how to get dual profiles into a plan and profile sheets. So this would apply to like when you have a multi-lane highway and you've got your eastbound and your westbound or your northbound and southbound uh, alignments with uh, different profiles and you'd like to see them on the same sheet. When the when you get this, it's going to be projecting a profile onto the, the westbound profile onto the northbound profile so it displays whenever you sheet or view it in profile view. So it's going to function exactly the same when you see them. It's going to annotate just like the main line. But uh, the only difference is going to be that there's going to be a uh, difference in the strip grade. Uh, the strip grade for the secondary alignment will be shifted up and be in a purple uh, number 15 color. So I'm just going to go ahead and show you how to do that here real quick. So we're going to start off, we're going to be using the open roads modeling workflow and the geometry and the uh, drawing production ribbon today. Uh, so we're going to start off with getting a feature definition here. So if we don't have that, it's up here under the standards. So you can get the feature definition toolbar. Come in here under alignment. We've added now the geom baseline westbound, southbound. So that's where your uh, alternative, your uh, alignment that you're going to be wanting to display with the main baseline one that we normally use. So we're going to start off with that. Go ahead. I'm just going to draw a sample westbound lane here. I'm just going to go ahead and do that. We're going to do a, just a quick constant elevation. We'll do 1125. Then I'm going to go ahead and we're going to select the new westbound southbound one here. And I'm going to draw a example eastbound lane or westbound lane here. Get the example westbound lane there going. Once we get that, I'm going to go ahead and apply a constant elevation of this one. We're going to do. Yeah, let's go with uh, 1135 so we can get a little bit of a contrast there when we see them. All right, now that we have that done, make sure that you still have the Geom baseline westbound southbound one. Once you've applied the profiles and stuff, uh, when you when you project it, it's going to use this as uh, the feature definition for the profile element that it uh, applies to that. So once you do that, you're going to come to your to the geometry. It's going to be under here under modify. There's going to be copy vertical. So we'll go ahead and I'll show you here before we do that. Let's get the profile displayed here so you can see that it's just got the one profile displaying. So we'll go to the modify copy vertical. Make sure that you have the uh, projected here checked. You can also change the name here if you'd like. For that'll name the profile that's on here. That gets projected onto it. It won't change the name of the one that's here existing. It's gonna or it's gonna create a new profile there that is gonna be named. So we'll so we're looking for the profile to copy here. So we're gonna select the westbound lanes. And we're gonna locate the element to apply profiles. So we're gonna select the eastbound lanes. And now you see it's got two profiles here. So now we go to our drawing tab, or drawing production tab, sorry. And we go and we're going to place some name boundaries. Go ahead, we're going to place a plan and profile, one to ten scale. We'll do the V10. And I'm just going to name it that. It's going to name it's going to name the group Geom Baseline-3. Just want to remember that for when you create the profile part of it. When you create the plan part of it, we're not going to create drawings. We're just going to create the, the uh, uh, we're going to create the uh, the sheet, sheet border here. Then we're going to go ahead and to the, create the profile one. Oops, sorry. Place name boundary. Select our profile. Make sure we have the matching plan profile profile for the scale V10-1. We're going to use the plan group of Geom Baseline-3. That was the new one that it created. This time we are going to create the drawing. Now it's asking us to identify a profile view. So we're going to select the view that has the profile on it. 
We go now saying accept or reject. So I'm going to accept it. Brings up our create drawing dialog. If you're if you actually are finishing this up, you can always add it to the sheet index here. I'm not finishing it up with it. I'm just doing this for this example. So I'm going to do it this way. This click OK. And now you can see we're getting both the profiles here annotated and the two different strip grades are coming up here. This is the main line and this is going to be the secondary alignment. So that's how you get dual profiles in a uh, plan and profile sheet.